If you are considering becoming a truck driver, you've probably been told your first step is to get a commercial learner's permit. But what exactly is a commercial learner's permit? And why do you need one before obtaining a commercial driver's license? Today we'll explain what a commercial learner's permit is and how you are able to obtain one. A commercial learner's permit, so also called a CLP, is a document that allows new drivers to be able to train in trucks in order to eventually get their CDL, their commercial driver's license. The requirements to obtain a commercial learner's permit, there are a few steps. Um, first and foremost, age requirement. So in order to get your commercial learner's permit, you would have to be 18 years old or older. And the other one would be if you're wanting to travel outside of the state, you would have to be 21 years of age. To find your CDL manual for your state, um, a lot of states do have virtual copies online. Otherwise, if you were to go into your DMV, DPS, Secretary of State, um, they'll have a hard copy that you can use as well. In the state's CDL manuals, um, you'd be able to find testing information, other driving resources, CDL requirements, safe driving practices, anything to help you study for the three tests that are required to obtain that commercial learner's permit. There are different types of permits to obtain depending on what kind of CDL you're trying to obtain. So if you are interested, there are classes for CDL for class C, class B, and class A and so there are commercial learner's permits for each one of those. If you are interested in getting your Class B license, you would need to get your Class B commercial learner's permit, and by getting that Class B CDL, then you'd be able to drive for CDL Class B and CDL Class C, and then it goes up from there. So if you are interested in getting your Class A CDL, then you would be needing to get your commercial learner's permit for the Class A, and having that Class A, you would then be able to drive the Class A trucks, Class Bs, and Class Cs. On top of deciding what kind of permit you're wanting to get for the type of CDL you are wanting to receive, also keep in mind if you are interested or looking forward to any specialty halls, you may also have to get certain endorsements as well. Endorsements can potentially have additional costs. Depending on your state, it may depend on how much each endorsement may be. You would need to get your DOT physical prior to getting a CLP. Um, number one, it is a DOT regulation, so you would need to get that um, in order to continue moving forward to eventually get your CDL. Otherwise, it does make you only be able to travel intrastate, and other programs as well do require you to have your DOT physical as well before starting the program. Others do offer help to obtain that as well. Um, do suggest checking with your local state to staters to see what they require. In regards to the programs we offer here at Schneider, we would need you to obtain your DOT physical prior to attending our programs. To apply to get your CLP, we do recommend contacting your DMV either via phone or looking online um, just to see if they are able to do walk-ins or if you do need to set an appointment. Every state is different. And along with that, there is the commercial learner's permit application fees as well. Those can be up to $20, but again, it can vary per state. Before you can take your commercial learner's permit test, you will need to have proof of identity. So for that, you would need to have a valid driver's license and potentially other forms of identification as well. We do suggest checking with your DMV for the more information on that. So for the basic permit exams, it is in three main sections. For those, it would be general knowledge, air brakes, and combination vehicle. And those are all in reference to tractor trailer. To take those tests, you can either take one at a time or you can take them all at once. There will be about 100 questions on those tests and you would need an 80% or higher to pass. Along with those three tests, some states also may let you add on other endorsement tests. I would suggest checking with your state first. We hope this video gave you a better understanding of what a commercial learner's permit is and how to obtain one. Be sure to subscribe and to follow Schneider for even more helpful truck driving content.